Hello, my name is Helen Singer. I'm one of the information managers here at the University of Hertfordshire. This short video will show you how to use the new Safari learning platform, which is now called O'Reilly Safari. Um, and the advantage of the new learning platform is that apart from um, it's about 35,000 ebooks, the platform also contains case studies, learning paths, and tutorials and videos. So I'm going to show you um, how to access the whole platform, but of course when you go to the online library and library search, you will also find the books um, which are indexed will already come up when you do a search. Books from the Safari um, or O'Reilly platform will come up as individual titles, but the other way to search the whole platform and also to use the case studies and videos and so on is to go to the online library page on StudyNet which is the third tab along and then you can get to it from the um, some of the toolkits but to get to it from the A to Z list I will just show you now go to the A to Z list of search sources and then if you scroll down it's now called just get to it O'Reilly Safari learning platform now the first time you log into this you will need to put just your username and click sign in um, I've already logged on to StudyNet, so I don't need to do that, but just the first time when you log in, you'll put your username and sign in. It will take you straight in. So when you get to the home page, you will see this screen. I'm just going to scroll down to show you. These are the learning paths, which are sort of self-guided tutorials. Case studies um, are here as well. Um, there's some recently added content and some online tutorials. Um, and then they've got trending as well. You can follow different um, channels and so what you see here will depend on what you've chosen as to follow. So I wanted to just quickly show you the coverage. So under topics here, Safari is technical books but you'll see all the different subjects here and you can see the range of uh, topics covered. So um, if I'll just scroll down here so it covers technology, um, digital media, but also business as well. So I'm just going to go to the top of the screen again, to the home page. I'll just show you a search. So there's a search box here. You can filter your results, but I'm just going to put in, for example, programming. And it has come up with um, over 23,000 results. So here where you can um, use the drop down boxes and you can see that it hasn't just found books here, but it's also found videos, learning paths and these Oriole things are tutorials. Um, you can see what topics it's found it in. You can also go filter by topic, you can filter by publisher and you can sort it in different ways. So if I just wanted books, I just wanted to show you what happens when you go to an individual book. So I've clicked on the title here of a book um, and you can view the table of contents to see um, the whole table of contents or you can start reading. I just wanted to show you a bit of the functionality here. So you can search within the book, you can add it to a playlist, you can change the font size and you can share it. And another thing you can do is if you just wanted to highlight a bit of text, it will give the option to copy a bit of text add a highlight or add a note and you can then share these highlights and notes. So that was really everything from the front screen. I just quickly wanted to show you as well um, that you, the other functionality on the left hand menu bar, if you've added something to your playlist you can view your playlist there, you can see your history, the topics I've already shown you, you can go to tutorials or your highlights or change your settings and uh, finally do remember you can um, download the app. The app is called Safari Q, Q U E U E. From there, you can read offline. You can also share and um, you can make notes and add, add to your playlist. I think you can add highlights as well. So um, I hope you find this helpful. Thank you very much.